Hey guys, Matt here at Murph Mobile Homes. Today we're going to do the walkthrough video of the triple wide. It's called the Lily 2 on our website. We did modify it quite a bit. Uh, it is raining out here as well, so we're going to get a quick little look of the outside. 612 pitch, architectural shingle, hardy siding. You can get that painted in any color you want. Uh, they use Sherwin Williams, Sherwin Williams colors. Yeah, 72 foot front porch. It's all custom, so you can really build these however you want. It's a really incredible house. Right at 3,000 total square foot. Take out the porch, you're about 2,800, uh, give or take. And we'll take another look at the porch. Some birds are there. Just coming in, just putting in all of our light bulbs. They use Trex decking on their porches. It's a composite material that doesn't stain or doesn't uh, fade, warp, span, rot, anything like that. I've seen that on a lot of new construction nowadays. It's a barn um, shutters here, real wood. It's not a nothing plastic or anything like that. Kind of give you a look at this porch. Absolutely huge. You got lights all the way up and down it. You even have lights underneath your eaves. LED lights there. You can add more. You can have them on the rear. Do all that as well. This house is built site built construction. Uh, building codes 2x6 solder walls, 2x4 interior walls, 16 on centers, 2x10 floor joists. Let's take a look here. Let me back up here so we can get a good look at this front door because you don't see this very often eight foot door right here on the front all right let's take a look we do have one room we're still kind of working we're placing the carpet in uh aside from that everything else is beautiful we don't have it staged yet i just couldn't wait nine foot ceilings wood burning fireplace walk right down the end you got Roberto, you coming in all right a nice storage closet right here off the front uh get a little coat closet big living room here of course it's all custom so colors can be changed floor plans can be changed this is your main area here tons of space we did no carpet in the living room and hallways on this one only in the bedrooms so this is a vinyl plank tile it's not linoleum it's an individual it's the good stuff wood burning fireplace ship lap above it you got HDMI plumbed into the wall. You're good. You go ahead. Uh, and it comes out down here. So down here you put your cable box, internet router, whatever you need. And so your HDMI feeds from there. Goes up there so you can mount your uh, TV above. And then you won't have any wire showing or anything like that while you got your fire going. Wood burning, of course. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's save the kitchen. Or do y'all want to go ahead and do this? Let's go ahead and do the kitchen. This is the dining room here. Beautiful chandelier. Doesn't come with the couches, but, you know. <laughs> Big fixed windows. Rear door, perfect for, you know, porch, patio. Something like that to build off the side. Make it easy access. And then you have the kitchen. One of the biggest draws of this house is this huge, huge kitchen. Tons of countertop space. Big island, you got a granite island here. Love the colors of the cabinets. Tile backsplash. Look at all these windows. Got your wall oven, and microwave combo. Gas cooktop. You can do electric if you want pot filler so if you're cooking rice cooking pasta you don't have to travel from here to here with one of your big uh pots you just fill it up right there these all have led lights underneath as well so if you notice your cabinets you'll see obviously you can tighten this up where it's not in the way but that's throughout the whole kitchen that's an option so if you don't like it take it out Look at all these outlets. 
Franklin's known to load their houses up with outlets. Me personally don't have enough stuff to plug in in my kitchen. Heck, I don't even have enough stuff to put in these drawers. But I know other people definitely do. I mean, I could sit here in this kitchen all day long. I mean, even your dishwasher is toppling all on. GE, you got Lazy Susans. Oh yeah, they spin. <laughs> I forgot what Lazy Susan was for a second. Spin cabinets. You got one there, one there, and then above in your corner, you have a hinged cabinet that comes out big, big. So these are 42 inch cabinets. Typically on your eight foot side walls, they go all the way to the ceiling, but these are nine foot. So you have some space up there too. Tile backsplash, European hood vent. What a lot of people don't realize is, you know, this is actually a pretty tall space than most kitchens, you know, you have, you have your large pots going on here as well. And with gas, you know you'll be able to handle it too. All right, let's kind of pan around. We'll make one more look at the kitchen. And then we'll make our way to the rest of the house. I mean, geez, big house, big kitchen, beautiful. All right, we're going to go to the guest side. Then we're going to finish off in the master bedroom. All right, here's a linen closet, really good size. You know, sheets, blankets, whatever you need. Plenty of space for it. Big hallway. So this is the room where we're just replacing the carpet in here. And then bathroom number two, I guess we can call it. Ceramic uh, sink there. You got your drawers and other cabinets. Framed out mirror needs to be dusted. And Murphy Mobile Homes. Dot com. Don't forget. Apply for free online. Look at the shower. Oh yeah, I forgot this is in here. 16 inch towel shower. This is a guest bathroom. This is usually in some of my videos of my high end houses in the master bathroom, but this is just a measly old guest bathroom. Poor kids. We're going down the hallway. So this room here, we have it with a door. It is a bedroom. You don't have to have the door. Obviously, you can do windows. But we have it a door just to show what it looked like if you wanted to make this a retreat or a den area or whatever. You can have a side door. Do whatever you want. It has a big walk-in closet in here. Do have it as a bedroom. But again, that door is optional. You can have windows. I know some parents don't want their kids to have doors out their wall. You never see them. All right. And then this is another bedroom. Big closets in here as well. Nice wooden cabinets. I mean, uh, wooden racks. You got a Jack and Jill bathroom. You don't see these very often anymore. Double vanities in here with... Makeup counter. <laughs> Big shower tub combo in here. Pull it over there so you can get a little privacy in it. Yeah, one more look. Beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can spot the attic access too, because these houses do all come with attic access. Six hole pitch, you get a lot of, you know, you can floor it out. You get actually a lot of storage space up there. Another linen closet. Or pantry or whatever you want to do. Utility room. Make a way in. Furnace and water heater back there. Washer and dryer, dryer area. And then you got a sink. So you got 
Freezer space, everybody loves a good deep freeze. Plenty of space. And then you got sink there. I know Louisiana, Texas, we have a lot of oil field workers. They come in dirty. <laughs> so it's always good to have something by the back door. All right, master bedroom. Now we do have the carpet from the other room spread out here. And then this huge, huge bedroom. More than enough room for a big king size, California king. You got tons of space for storage, you know, for dressers and decor, end tables, all that stuff. And again, they're heavy on outlets, so you can always have a place to charge your phone. They even do USB outlets too. And one of the closets here, specifically this one, it's absolutely incredible. They got the integrated uh, closet systems. These are custom as well, so if you want to kind of tweak these a little bit, you can do that. Imagine, I don't, I guess, maybe should, I don't have this much stuff. So, me personally, I'm like, this is more than enough. This is twice as much space as I need. And then you have all of this. Way more than enough. But, that's not the only closet in this house. In this room. <laughs> Sorry. Then you have this other master closet. I mean, it just goes all the way around, too, with wood shelves. I'm sorry. It's got lights in here. Plenty of space. All right, guys, y'all ready? So far, I appreciate y'all watching this long. You stuck it out to the end. You're about to be rewarded. Look at this master bathroom. You can also do Whirlpool jets in this tub. Beautiful wood ship lap, real wood. And it's custom too, they got different colors you can do if you want. This has a uh, cultured marble decking around. <laughs> Cabinets here, towels, shelvings, you know, you can do. These are all adjustable shelves. It's just high end stuff that you get with these. Water closet. We really need a dust. <laughs> Should we put Murphy Mobile Homes again? Two sinks in here, bunch of drawers, tons of space to store. And then you get the shower. Look at this thing. Nice right shower head. Get the sink, a uh, seat. I don't know why I'm calling that. Seat, a little place for your shampoo. Got a window for natural lighting. I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous. Franklin Homes are top of the line. You can do tankless water heaters with this. I mean, it, you put these over a basement. You can have the second floor if you wanted to. I mean, these these are not trailers. These are not mobile homes. These are houses. These are house houses. Like, these are real houses. <laughs> I guarantee these are built the same spec that any site built house built to because by law, it is required that these houses are built like that. So, this is the Lily 2. Again, you have some modifications on it. Uh, so, it's... It's not identical to the one on our website, but this one has a third bathroom in it, of course. We'll get one more look in here. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate it. Make sure you check out the TikTok page, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook Messenger is by far the best place to reach me for any questions, inquiries, or anything like that. I have free credit applications on my website, murphymobilehomes.com. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I really appreciate everybody. Thank you for the support. We're up to 230,000 followers on TikTok. About to hit a, hopefully, about to crack 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it. Maybe even like the video if you're still here. Probably only talking about two people at this point. But that's going to be it. I really appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you next time.